Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails from Zero Part 43. In the previous video, we completed Chapter 2, which is why we're sitting here on the main screen, uh, because we ended the recording session on the chapter screen. And before I wanted to, I just wanted to make sure that if, when I load the save, it's not going to immediately initiate the cutscene or anything, or, or something like that. So, uh... Also, one thing that I do like is that the, the title screen changed uh, back here. It's actually changed a couple different times. Like, when, when we were on Chapter 2, it had, like, a picture of, like, Ark and CL, like, on, like, opening night or something. And now it's got this new, uh, new Orbman screen, which is nifty. I'm a big fan of changing title screens. It's one of those, like, neat little touches that uh, I quite like. Okay, so it, it, it is good that I didn't uh, load, then try and start the video. Because I wasn't sure if it was going to like put us back on that end of chapter screen or if it was going to immediately start, but it looks like it's immediately starting. So we went ahead and jumped straight to the festival, or the... It is a festival, right? That's what they're calling it? You think you got enough pictures there, uh, person? I mean, he's not moving that much. Um, okay. We're just pretend he said those words. I don't know why the voice acting does that every once in a while. I feel like it's still playing all the lines. It's just, uh... I think it's just not pausing. Like, I think it's actually, like, uh... Because that, that, that voice line he just did was, like, super long, like, earlier. So I think it's just the text boxes aren't quite matching up. I think the voice acting is still being played. I mean, it's hard to tell not actually knowing the language. I mean, I don't exactly know what they're saying, but... But don't exactly, I've got no fucking clue. We recognize, I mean, I see Grace there. We got, uh, the two rich people. That, that could be Ellie there? I mean, he's got the same kind of hair color and hair length, but...前に進む必要があるでしょう。well, I mean, isn't that part of the festivities, Kana? Is it about to be become a rave? Oh. That's gonna have like an EDM vibe to it, though. Dude, it's all the balloons. Balloon guy, he's finally, uh, he's getting some action. Why is the bunny lady selling meat? Oh, there's like a boat. Oh, there's Agate. I mean, not Agate, Randy. Why do I keep calling him Agate, dude? Roulette, why would you play roulette? It's like the worst thing to play.
What, you, what is he looking at on, on the on his screen? Oh my god, they're playing uh, they're playing like Tetris or it's not really or some type of Tetris. One of the you know. He has been destroyed. Oh my god, eviscerated. Looks like everybody's enjoying the festival, it seems. You know, Tio's enjoying it in a way that, uh, you know, that's typically how I like to enjoy festivals, uh, alone in my room. So is Lloyd just with random people there? Or is that the, oh, is that the, the aunt and uncle? Is that like Cecile, Cecile's uh, mom and dad? I can't remember what they look like. That's a vibe right there. I don't know, for some reason I keep thinking Cecile has green hair. There's something about the name, I don't know, is there like, is there another video game where there's a Cecile character that has green hair? Because anytime I think about her, I'm like, oh yeah, she's got like bright green hair. あの、いや、<laughs> maybe. <laughs> Never mind. Well, I was gonna say, maybe you can go ask Joshua for some tips on how to <laughs> perform in a play. Prob I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> yeah, he's busy uh, gambling away all of the SSS's money right now. <laughs><笑> ロイド<笑> one day off, save the mayor from being assassinated and potentially throwing the entire city into turmoil that may have ended the independent state, and you get one day off. お母さんたち楽しみにしていたわ。うん。ごちそうになるよ。でも夕食までまだ時間がありそうだな。えっと、祭りの様子を見物しに行こうか。ごめんね。ほ、リジェクテッド。あ、ほ、リジェクテッド
Oh, we we've met all right. We've met uh met a couple different times. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> He's becoming aware. Who is that? I feel like we know that voice. No, we don't know that voice. Oh, is that is that Noel? Oh, it is Noel and friend. It just looks so different. Why do you get time off? What? Lloyd only has the one pair of clothes. He just wears it constantly. It smells like garbage at this point. It's been three months since it was washed last. <笑>お姉ちゃん、ひどい。忙しくてたまにしか会えないから、今日くらいは付き合ってくれるって言ったのに。He's <笑> got a point. Hi, hi. わかってるって。そういえば、ロイドさんはここで何を？あ、いや、なんか、さっきまで連れがいたんだけど、この後予定が入ってたらしくてさ。yeah, sure. They're not gonna believe you. They're gonna be like, oh man, Lloyd's so sad just standing out here alone. Oh, I knew it. I knew it, man. I knew they weren't gonna believe him. We're just so busy. I mean, we were like kind of brooding for a little bit. We were gonna, you know, maybe sit on those steps for a little while. I mean, ah, God, our schedule is just so booked. Ooh. I don't believe you. You're coming from the wrong direction to be going to the Harbor District. I know how this city is laid out now. You can't get one past me. You were walking from the Harbor District, you liars. Okay. Thus, the anniversary festival's opening day went by in the blink of an eye. That night, Lloyd dined at the Nuez residence. They told stories of Guy and reminisced the night away. And then... The second day. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. Wait, 
たっぷり働いてもらうつもりだからよろしく頼んだぜ。We don't own a car though. But apartment can't afford it. For us at least. かりました Yo, like, since we solved the case and, like, Dudley failed, do we get his car? <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> also, that reminds me, uh, since I think yesterday part 5 went up, and so when I was looking back at the video, one little detail I didn't pick up on, because we hadn't been introduced to Dudley's character yet, is that, uh, the little, uh, flashback sequence where you see Guy's funeral, you can actually see, uh, Dudley standing there in the background, which is, uh, kind of neat. ケチすぎるんじゃないですかまあ、それだけ警察全体が忙しいということなんでしょうし、警備や巡回の仕事は初日が一番忙しかったんじゃないかしら。まあ、そういうことだ。一応、市長暗殺を未然に防いだご褒
it's something that might be kind of useful for making like thumbnails later on in the series. I'm a little like scared to look at it because I don't want to spoil myself, so I haven't really looked too much. But we may oh we didn't we didn't actually accept this one big one. Um, and on there I saw something about like a like like it was a file name it was like ch underscore o seven which I assumed was chapter seven. I didn't get to see like that. I didn't see the name of it or anything, but I'm assuming there's at least seven chapters because of that. But it was kind of cool. It has like all the little uh, like all the raw art files and all the music and everything, too, which isn't really like too useful for me because it's all uh, it's all it's not actual names. It's just uh, like track orders, which I guess actually if I look up the soundtrack, um, you can figure that out. But I've already like the only real music track we're using is the in screen music, which I already downloaded. So prior to finding that online. Fifty speed? Yo-ho. Keep up the good work, everyone. I'm glad today seems crazy as the first day of the opening ceremony, but the crowd is really something else. Maybe I should have tried to request the precinct for more backup. So what what quest do we have here? Um which ones were were short? So these two. Belgard Gate and Police Headquarters. All right. Well, I mean, we should definitely explore a little bit. I... That's an expensive ass burger. It really is some festival prices, dude. What are we looking at going on the Sapith category? All right, everyone's busy with the festival. I'll take a quick, quick glance. What are you guys up? So many people outside. The festival is so lively. It's not the same as ever. Oh, yeah, what is this? Is this is this do anything? Cover for Tio. I don't know. Ooh. Sure. I mean, are we just wasting a thousand? I mean, a thousand mirror isn't that much, but is it just like a cosmetic thing? Oh, yeah. Well, it's got, oh, I never even noticed that Tio has a little cat keychain thing. Never actually paid attention to that before. What is Tio? I mean, not Tio. Ellie has like some bells, a locket of what I presume that looks like her probably her mom and dad. And then. She's got like his apartment ID and some type of lion. Interesting. You got new stuff. Some of these are new. EP2 is new. Um, EP Cut 2 is new. Burn is new. Burn is a pretty sweet ass that is effect. But it's a little expensive. I think we will get an EP2 and an EP2 cut too, since we can afford it. I wonder if this will let you get any new abilities. Oh, you don't actually have an EP, Jim. Oh, you already have an EP2. Well, yeah, because actually, I really like the library, Jim. So, I mean, it might be worth it, though. So, 10 and 5 space. Does that let us unlock anything worthwhile? That's... So, we get Shadow Blade, which is a little... It's just too expensive to realistically use. And then under Mirage, I think we already have Galleon Tower. It might let you get Dark Matter. Yeah, it would. Wait, would it? No, it wouldn't quite let you get Dark Matter, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not super interested in that. I don't really like HP on Tio just because he, he has such little and it's percentage based. All right, let's uh, let's keep it moving. 
We got we got a lot to explore in this video. I mean, I did say I wanted to take my time, and we have taken our time, and I've I've definitely enjoyed it. Um, one of the things that I've really enjoyed about um, or one of the things that I kind of uh, ooh evasion and accuracy. I don't I don't know, man. It's it's so it's so expensive, and we we don't have any money. Uh, which actually reminds me, you should buy weapons first. These, these are more important right now. Yeah, the jacket is like a... I mean, 20 defense is like... I mean, it's a huge percentage increase. I mean, it's almost twice as good. Randy, these are all... I mean, you gotta get Randy... Because Randy only wax people. That's all he can do. Throw in like a hundred of that. We're not really using our earth right now. I think this is a little bit of money to play with. But uh like I do like the whole like having just one central city. It feels like I feel a lot more compelled to actually uh go around and talk to everyone because of it. And we could get the movement boots. Uh well Randy already has so much movement, and Ellie and Tio don't really move that much. But yeah, I kind of want the two jackets for uh, our, our buddy boys. I just feel like Lloyd and uh, what you call it. Are these new? When did we get these? Did we get these in a chest maybe and I forgot to equip them? You lose a little speed, but I mean, we could give it to you actually. It's, a, it's an objective increase for you. And then you guys can take their old clothes. But like having just the one central city, I feel a lot more compelled to actually like explore and talk to people throughout the game as opposed to even in like Trails 1 where like there was a lot of ambient dialogue that or like Trails, like the trilogy. Um, I do that every once in a while. I say Trails 1 when I just mean the entire trilogy as a whole, but um, like there's a lot of ambient dialogue that does update throughout those various chapters in like really just Trails 1 and 2 because Trails 3 is not, is different. Um, you don't have like a city to explore or anything like that or regions, but like it just feels more compelling to have like these characters that are like they're with you for the entire game as opposed to just being with you for like one little chapter, you know? I mean, we, we always need to pop out the Bracer Guild, see, what, see what's going on here. Hey there, sweeties. Oh, yes, got a request from HQ over in Le Mans, so his return to Crossbell is a little delayed. Guess he wasn't to make it up for the anniversary festival's first day after all. I've half a mind to file a complaint with HQ for this. That also reminds me, we should have, like, go check on Shizuku. I kind of forgot she existed. Where's everybody? They're in the administrative district. Lynn and Aelia and Armorica. I mean, we're in the city, so let's go pop over and see what, uh see what they're doing do we have i don't know if we maybe should be able to rank up wait what not too surprised our, wait, what'd you say i tried talking to about estelle too not too surprised our full-time working members are up a creek, creek without a paddle it's the guild style to fish without harm in our day jobs it's a shame but uh, let's cast him an invite a little bit earlier next time he insists he's gonna intend and there's no stopping him he even told us he'd take a few vacation days man i'm looking forward to this been too long since we've been this excited what's he even talking about is it like the the fishing man like the runner of the guild coming over. It's the height of the anniversary festival, so we're saddled with it. Yeah, well, I heard something is odd. Don't worry about it. Just focus on your work and fishing your downtime. Oh, we don't quite have enough, uh, enough fishy fishies to rank up. I mean, Estelle is a master angler, so I wonder if she's joined the guild. Greetings, this is the Crossbell Business Owners Association 10. We welcome all citizens to participate. We also host the raffle. Oh, raffle. Who would have thought he had gotten to it without her favorite? Oh, there you go, or exaggerates again. Ease up on the sorbet and booze or go straight to your stomach, you know? <laughs> you two lovebirds never change. Is this our old people? Yeah, you're all, you're our old people, right? You know what'll do in some good? A swift backhand. Dude, you're a... That's a little rude. 
Oh, it's the SSS. Uh, what might you all be doing here? Uh, you're one of the det detectives from the First Division, right? You're acting as security for the festival around here or something? Well, yes, the uh, crowds are completely vulnerable during the festival. Not to mention there are plenty of influential and wealthy people here. We can't ignore the possibility of a terrorist attack. You must be under tremendous pressure knowing the safety of these people rests in your hands. Naturally, we don't have the luxury to stand around behaving carefree like a lot of you. Lady, I will beat your ass in public. I am detecting slight hints of animosity. My noodles. My glorious noodles. I mean, a lot of this stuff seems good. It's just... I ain't got no money, dude. Well, hello there. Welcome to Mithra's Gelato Stand. Our gelato is the finest in all the land. We're even the official gelato in the ref of the ref Remy Firian royal family. Would you like to try some? Yeah, give me a free sample. We're the police. Nothing better than a good old-fashioned festival. I love me some festivals. You're at a festival. It's time to eat a skewer. How about it, sir? I can see he's salivating over my meat. They made me say it. They made me say it. Hey, would you like to try a skewer? They're easy on the teeth and uh, tasty to boot. Dude, the music is just so fucking good. <laughs> we're 30 minutes in, dude. Welcome to the Crossbell News Service. How may we help you today? Uh, we're the special support section. Oh, the, I didn't even know there was a support request here. Oh, it's nice to meet you all. Thank you for coming. The person responsible for submitting the request wishes to explain it to you in person. Do you mind? Is now a good time? Actually, no. It's the first time I've ever turned down. I don't want to accept it because that's probably a long... And I don't exactly know how expiring quest works in any of the Trails games. Um, we're in hot pursuit of a thief. Those scumbags like to take advantage of festival goers every year. Man, when I get my hands on him, we're going to teach him a lesson or three. Aren't you enjoying this a bit too much? <laughs> guess you're right. There's something about simple crimes like theft that get me going, you know? Who are we supposed to talk to in the city again? The police department. Yeah. Yo, juice lady. We could go hit up the library. Got any books for us? Okay, the library is apparently shut down. Whoa, the anniversary festival snuck up so quickly that it caught me off guard. Oh no, my thesis is due this month. Uh, I'm going to put it all together. I can't spend more time reading through reference materials. I feel you, buddy. I feel you. Whoa, oh, wait. I mean, we could read the last volume. I mean, are there only two? What was going on in this story again? There was a dude, and he was going to murder someone, or he was, like, told to murder the lady who was a medic, but then the wolf was like, yo, dog, I'm going to fucking eat your teeth, and, uh, now they're friends. I think that's the recap. So let's coffee up, though, first. As the girl and Knight approached the flaming town, they were shocked. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they went to the town and then it was on fire and everything. They hurried towards the conflict to check on the townsfolk. The town's church was crowded with casualties. The girl carefully checked on each and every victim. Her passion encouraged the wounded. The knight helped the girl by carrying fallen victims into the church. As she finished tending to everyone who was there, she noticed that the lord who had sent the knight was not present. H help me! A familiar voice was heard outside the church. Without a doubt, it belonged to the lord. The moment she heard it, the girl bolted out of the church to where the battle still raged on. The knight hurriedly chased after her. They sped in the direction of the voice and found that the Lord had fallen on his back, under attack by mercenaries of the invading nation. Disregarding the Lord's plea, one of the mercenaries raised his sword. The blade began to fall straight down towards the helpless figure, for he only had a moment left when... The girl nimbly flung herself between the Lord and the mercenary and took the blow with her own body. The knight had been unable to stop her. The girl collapsed on the ground with a lifeless thump. The mercenary who had struck the girl was astounded, but quickly composed himself and pointed his blade towards the Lord once again. A beastly howl resounded through the area. The white wolf the knight saw, the knight saw by the girl's home had appeared with several allies. The mercenaries were stricken with fear and retreated immediately. The Lord, the collapsed girl, and the pack of white wolves were all that remained. 
Paying the wolves no heed, the Lord could not comprehend why the girl had saved him. The girl, flat on the ground, smiled at the Lord. Why would you save someone who wanted you dead? He instinctively asked. She replied in turn, Your grace is of great importance to this town. I had no choice but to re rescue the symbol of the townsfolk. The girl protected the Lord in consideration of the townsfolk who suffered due to the battle. As the- I mean, this doesn't really fit the vibe of the background music. As the Lord grasped the kindness of the girl and pondered his own foolishness, the girl closed her eyes for the final time. The white wolf surrounding him howled, as if crying in grief, and then left. The knight shed tears when he saw the girl's lifeless body. After that, the long war had come to an end. Touched by the girl's kindness, the Lord took over her will and established a hospital where the wounded and sick would be looked after. With the knight's help, the hospital came to save many lives. The girl's name, Ursula, was passed down as the name of a saint dispatched by the goddess. The white wolves who watched over her are said to protect and watch over the people of this land to this day. Huh. So that's Saint Ursula. Well, and that answered that question from a long time ago. Yeah, we, we read the other stuff, right? No, no books over here. Anybody up here? Good morning, welcome to the Crossbell City Library. I knew traffic would slow down the anniversary festival, but this is just sad. But who am I to judge? There's no better time to go out and enjoy yourself. I may just need to get a little break during work. Too bad it's so noisy around here. The diet's budget meeting begins this week after the anniversary festival. Now's not the time to be fooling around. Ooh. Ooh. Man, it seems pretty good. Okay, I'll buy... That's all we can afford, but... Are you guys interested in trying some pure Armorican honey? It's our village's specialty. The Orbal bus near the east edge exit of the city will take you to Armorica Village if you're interested in visiting. Been there, done that. Ah, a spectacle truly befitting of Crossbell City Hall. Magnificent. I gotta snap me a photo of this. What's up, you two? Hey, guys. How's your day been? <laughs> the festival leaves us a little room to breathe, but it hasn't been that bad. Are you two in the middle of work as well? <laughs> as you can see, they're hard at work. I don't know, man. Last time Estelle and Joshua sat on a bench, bad stuff happened. Yeah, but we're just catching our breath. Holy moly, though, I wasn't expect- especially during a festival, oh god. I wasn't expecting the anniversary festival to be this huge. This whole event might have actually been more bombastic than the Queen's birthday celebration. The Queen's birthday celebration? Oh, she's referring to Queen Alicia II. We celebrate her birthday every year by holding a festival. It's probably the biggest event in liberal period. Oh, that's right, I forgot you guys are librarian. Or librarian. I've actually been to it before, believe it or not. The elegance and flashiness of the festival was truly befitting of a monarch. It's safe to say it was quite the experience. Glad to hear you enjoyed yourself. It's not just flashy, though. They even hold a martial arts tournament at the arena. Oh, are we still the reigning champs? Probably not. They probably haven't participated in the last couple. Tournament, eh? Sounds like it's right up my alley. Oh yeah, I just remembered. Congrats, guys. You should be really proud of yourselves. P proud? Are you talking about the assassination attempt? It was more of a mountain of coincidences piling up on top of each other. I'm afraid to think what would have happened if we weren't as lucky. I wouldn't get hung up on that. Besides, if you hadn't stopped that, I doubt we'd be enjoying the festival like we are here. Yeah, that's right. If you think about it, everyone here owes you big time. <laughs> Thanks, you two. I'm not used to this much praise. I don't look embarrassed, do I? Red as an apple, my friend. Okay. A lot of tourists. All right, let's, uh, let's go talk to a little police guy. Suspect apprehended! This dirtbag thought he could try and ruin the festival atmosphere with his mischief! Screw you, I didn't do it! I'm not guilty, you can't prove anything! We've received many police reports from the Harbor and Entertainment District, so we need to up the officer count on our patrols there. What a pain, I'm gonna have to book it if I wanna be able to take a break. Hey, it's the guys from the SSS. Uh, I figured to get busier in the past years, but this is too much. Yeah, we know how you feel. Us police officers have our plates full during the festive period. By the way, received a support request from the Metro Metropolitan Division. Are they here right now? Oh, you mean the request regarding the ticketing illegally parked cars? They're usually out and about, but I should be able to get a hold of them. 
We should probably get onto that, right? Indeed. Let's get crack a lacking. Hell yeah, Randy. That's why you're my favorite. Looks like we're in agreement then. Understood, I'll call them immediately. Feel free to wait in the conference room while I fetch them for you. We've been waiting here an awfully long time. They must be pretty busy. Yeah, not much we can do about it. First of all, let's get real overwhelming. Hey, uh, sorry about that. Uh, we're dealing with something urgent. Sorry for making you guys wait. Don't worry about it. Thanks, I'm uh, Chief jo Jolich of the Metropolitan Division. It's a pleasure to meet you all. And I'm Officer Kate of the same designation. Thanks for lending us a hand, Special Support Section. Looks like we'll have to give a formal introduction this time around. And we, we've met Kate. I'm uh, Lloyd Bandage of the Special Support Section, and these three are my colleagues. We know you're swamped with work, but uh, would you mind explaining the details of the request? No problem, allow me to explain. But first, I think that's enough of the formalities. I don't mind if we speak more casually, casually now. Sorry, our chief likes to take things easy. Anyway, I think this was this was I think this was written in the support request. I'd like you to ticket any illegally parked vehicles in the outskirts of town. This goes without saying, but we're seriously lacking the manpower to handle this right now. All you have to do is write down the car's license plate number, attach a warning sticker, and find them if they're parked illegally. Uh, is this really all you'd like for us to do? You don't need us to tow them or anything? Yeah, don't worry about it. Giving them a fine is more than adequate. Towing them would be too harsh of us. A lot of people drove in from the Empire and Republic, so they don't know the parking rules. I mean, we're still gonna fucking, you know, tax their bones dry, but... You know, we're not we're not bad people or anything. Not only that, but some of the vehicles already have parking permits. Wait, what? Parking permits? Yeah, not every car is necessarily parked there illegally. Some of them obtain permits to park there beforehand, so you don't need to exercise caution. Cool, we'll keep our eyes parked for those permits. Eyes peeled for those permits. Too much talk of parking, man. Okay, I think I understand the procedure. I think I remember a few cars being parked at the eastern and western exits of town. It'd be smart of us to check both exits. Indeed. Okay, give me. I'm. Um, let me give you this list of permit holders. And while you're at it, take this pack of warning stickers. We like to call these our illegal parking tools. Uh, okay, got it. Please report to Rebecca once you've completed our request. Kate and I are going to hit the city, so we'll be gone all day. Understood. We'll give our report to Rebecca. Uh, let's say we uh, scoot on over to the city limits. Okay, let's go. Anybody in here? No? Okay. Well, we are at 40 minutes, so that's probably a decent place to stop. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Had a much-needed day off yesterday. It's been a while since I got to spend some quality time with Noe. Oh, yeah, of course, you know, Lloyd, uh, we went to that concert together. <laughs> Yeah, I had a lot of fun, so thanks for inviting me. Oh, what's this? Uh, I know what you guys are talking about. I was at that concert too, actually. I was dancing my ass off with some lovely ladies, courtesy of the staff at St. Ursula Medical College. Please refrain from excessively indulging yourself, Randy. <laughs> Sounds like we missed each other. All right, that's gonna that's gonna do it for this episode. We uh we still have a good bit of city the city to explore. I mean, we didn't really talk to everyone at all because. That's truly ridiculous. Um, I want to take it slow. I don't want to take it, you know, at an iceberg pace, though. I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.